You know how much I love talking about trends and in today's episode I am sharing 10 very cool summer trends that may not have had much exposure but they are definitely well worth taking a look at. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm putting the spotlight on 10 tiny trends and in fact, some of them are probably not so tiny anymore. I've seen in the last couple of weeks they've really started to gain momentum. So they are definitely trends in their own right. So I've picked out 10 of these trends that definitely haven't had a whole lot of exposure, but there really is something here for everyone and I'm sure you're going to like one or two of these trends. So I'm just gonna get into it and start sharing some of Summer's tiny trends that are worth taking a look at. Now the first trend that I wanted to cover off today is knee length skirts. Now we've heard a lot about mini skirts and also we've talked and I've talked here quite a bit about maxi skirts that are really in fashion for summer but I'm also seeing a lot of knee length skirts. It's that sort of in between length which can be really flattering. It's not too short, it's not too long and a knee length skirt is in my opinion, a universally flattering length. So there are some really gorgeous options around. So when it comes to skirt lengths, if you're not into minis, you're not into maxis, you don't like the extremes, there's definitely something in between for you. And that is the mid-length, knee-length skirt. Now next up, I know this tiny trend won't be for everyone, but it is the trend of wearing bodysuits. Now I have had my own horror stories when it comes to bodysuits when I used to wear them back in the day. And that has probably scared me off dipping my toe in the trend again. But I know when the weather gets warmer here in New Zealand, I will definitely be trying some of the very cool bodysuits that are on offer. I'm definitely seeing them in the US at the moment. Really interesting strap detail and they just make a perfect base layer piece. And certainly if you don't like something that's quite so figure hugging, you can add a, a longer layer over the top or just add a oversized shirt just to kind of cover up or to give you a little bit more warmth or coverage. But bodysuits are everywhere. And there is something for everyone in terms of the strap detail and the coverage. So have a little look and see what's out there in the way of bodysuits. And if you have a funny bodysuit story, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. My story is I was wearing one years and years ago and because I'm so long in the body, I sat down and ate my dinner at a restaurant with friends, got up to walk to the bathroom and of course the domes underneath came apart and I ended up walking to the bathroom with what looked like a little horsetail hanging out the back of my jeans but it was the end of my bodysuit and I was absolutely mortified. I'm not going to let that stop me dipping my toe in the trend but let me know if you've had any funny stories or interesting things happen while wearing a bodysuit. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Casetify for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, I was delighted when I heard that Casetify were keen to work with me. I've been a huge fan of the brand for many years and I have a fantastic discount offer to share with you today from the team at Casetify. They're going to give you 15% off any of your Casetify purchases. So hold up and I will share a little bit more about that with you in a second. But if you haven't heard about Casetify before, they're an amazing brand that creates the most most incredible selection of iPhone cases and accessories. In fact, their cases offer extreme three times military grade protection. So if you care about your phone as much as I do, then these are the cases to opt for. They're also super styly, which in my opinion really helps. Their ultra impact cases can be dropped from a staggering 9.8 feet. Yes, crazy I know, and your phone will survive. These new impact and ultra impact cases are also made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. And all the packaging that they come in is 100% recycled. And these, as you can see here, are the little protective features on them. These corners are what gives them that extra three times military grade protection. Oh, and on that note, Casetify also has a very cool recycling program called Recasetify, where you can send back your old cases from any brand Brand, and they are recycled and made into new Casetify Crush cases. So when you send them back, you'll get a discount on your next purchase, which is a very cool thing. 
All case to five cases have an antimicrobial coating, killing 90% of bacteria. They're also non-toxic, and as you can see, there are an endless choice of beautiful prints and patterns and colors to choose from. You can even customize your case by adding your name and choosing all of your fonts and designs. And I think in my mind, there is nothing better than being able to customize and create a case that is very much your own. So as I mentioned, Casetify is also offering you a 15% discount off your purchase. All you need to do is whip on over to the Casetify website and I'll leave a link in the description box below or use my unique URL, which is casetify.com forward slash the style insider. And your 15% will just be taken off automatically at checkout. So don't forget to take advantage of this very cool offer and give your phone case a little bit of a modern summer update. And the other trend that I've seen a lot this summer, and I haven't seen it for a few summers, is strapless tops and dresses. And this is a trend that I particularly love because my favorite body part is my shoulders. And summer seems to be absolutely swamped with crop tops and midriff bearing tops and blouses. And that's the worst part of the body for me. So for me to be able to bear a part of my body and show off a little bit of skin in a way that makes me feel comfortable is really good. So if you like your shoulders, there are plenty of options of beautiful tops and dresses that are strapless at the moment. Another tiny trend that I'm seeing and absolutely loving is the return of chunky gold hoops. Now, these are a little nod to the trend, but I am definitely look looking at getting myself a pair of nice, chunkier, slightly larger gold hoops. And I do remember wearing larger gold hoops back in the day, but most recently we've seen really large, fine hoops. But certainly this summer it is all about the chunky gold hoop. So I am very much here for it and I'm definitely going to try this trend. I think it makes a very simple summery outfit just look a little bit more stylish. It's a simple way to use accessories to elevate a, a classic summer tee or a very basic outfit. So chunky gold hoops is where it's at. Now the next trend that I'm really loving is the look of camo and I'm blaming the return of cargo pants and the popularity of cargo pants this summer for encouraging the reintroduction of camo but I do think it's a really fun fabric. It's a print that tends to suit a lot of people. It's a neutral but it's interesting and it's patterned. I think it's fun and the more I look for it the more I see camo elements around. I've seen quite a few camo tees, uh, camo pants. There are elements of camo out there and if you like that kind of uh, street style utilitarian type look, then check out some of these cool camo pieces. Now this next trend is beautiful and it's one that I'm seeing more and more of as summer continues and that's the trend for wearing backless dresses. Personally it's a bit of a tricky trend for me because I do have a fuller bust but I think that this look is beautiful, it's very elegant, it's obviously great for when the weather gets hot. There are some gorgeous, especially some beautiful maxi dresses that are sort of backless with lovely tie detail across the back. I've also seen some beautiful backless, slightly strappy tops as well, but it is a really pretty, elegant, feminine, and obviously great for summer look. While it's not for everyone, it's, it's on this list because it's definitely gaining momentum and it's just really pretty. Now I'm blaming TikTok for the return of this trend, but halter necks seem to be everywhere. And I don't know whether you've seen on TikTok the girls that are that take a normal tank and they cross it over and they turn it into a halter neck. I think that was the beginning of the return of halter neck popularity. But again, I'm here for this trend. I do like my shoulders. I think it's a nice way to bear a little bit of skin, but you generally tend to get your sort of neck and chest area covered up, which works for me. So halter are most definitely trending and there are some beautiful halter neck dresses and tops and there are great options out there but I am pretty sure that this trend has become popular because of all of those cool TikTok fashion hacks that are halter neck inspired but let me know what you think have you seen those TikTok trends 
Do you like TikTok? Do you like Haltonix? Let me know in the comments below. I'm a huge fan. Now this one has also taken me by surprise and I've seen quite a few jumpsuits, the return of jumpsuits and I know they're not for everyone because they're a little bit tricky when it comes to going to the bathroom and they're not as easy as wearing say a maxi dress but if you're not into a maxi dress or if you are a little bit more petite jumpsuits are definitely the way to go they give you that coverage and that femininity but if you love wearing pants they're going to tick that box for you as well and I have seen some gorgeous jumpsuits and they're really feminine so in the last couple of summers some of the jumpsuits have been quite military inspired and quite utilitarian but the jumpsuits that I'm seeing this season are really feminine and summery and I'm here for them. Actually I've seen a couple that are strapless as well so it's sort of mixing and matching some of the key trends for the season but jumpsuits are here and I'm here for it. Now this is probably my favorite mini trend and that is the return of slip dresses. Now maybe I shouldn't say the return because there are always slip dresses around but not quite as many as I have seen lately and there are slip dresses of every single form, style, texture, shape. There's real bodycon slip dresses, there's more A-line slip dresses, there's slip dresses that are cut on the bias. There's kind of something for everyone and I often talk in my videos about slip dresses being a kind of a wardrobe essential because you can layer things over them and under them and wear them throughout the year. So if you have thought about updating and buying a new season slip dress, now's the time because there are lots of options. So there would be a goodie for you out there, but slip dresses in every form are here. Now, last but not least is the return of what I'm calling, and I, I suppose I can't think of any other name for them, but that is parachute pants. Now, I am blaming the return of cargo pants for the popularity of parachute pants. And funny story, I bought the Karen Britchick cargo pants. They're kind of shaped like a, there's a real sort of curve to the leg, and they're quite oversized as well. And when I first put them on, my boyfriend said, they look like the parachute pants of the 80s and the more I look around the more I see these slightly oversized overblown parachute-esque parachute style cargo pants so that's why I'm blaming the return of cargo pants for some of these more parachute style pants but I think they're great they work really well with bodysuits which are everywhere at the moment and they yeah they're comfy they definitely suit my style they're a little bit more forgiving than a classic cargo or classic chino and they're not in that scratchy loud parachute style fabric of old so they're easier to wear in my opinion but yeah parachute pants are a tiny trend that is definitely worth taking a look at anyway that's it from me today i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did i'd love you to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more oh and take advantage of that 15 percent off with casetify if you are in the market for a new phone case but anyway that's it from me today and i can't wait to see you in the next one bye for now mm -hmm.